Hello everyone, in this tutorial, I would like to show you how you can um, change the file extension for a group of images easily in one go. Before we start, we need to import some uh, libraries. So we are from PIL or from PU, import image and uh, we also be importing OS. So we, we will be creating a list, an empty list and we will call it images and We'll define a function and we'll call it loop image. So what loop image will be taking in will be directory. So for file name in the os.list directory, if the file name itself ends with .jp, .jpg or .jpg, it, we will join the directory and the file name together and append it to the empty list. And finally, we will return the images. What will happen is it will look at the directory and look at the file names, file name. So if the file ends with .jpg or which signifies that it is actually an image, it will copy down the directory with the file name inside and append it to an empty list. So next what will happen is um, I will let images be equals to loop image and I will include the directory here. So inside this directory, what we have is um, a JPEG um, file. So it's a doc1 and uh, a doc2. So I call the first file doc1 and I call the second file doc2. Basically, they are just a pictures of doc1 doc and doc2. And the file type is JPEG. And I don't, we don't need this, sorry. So, um, before I go through the for loop, uh, let's do a simple example first. So we will open up the image. So we will be opening the image and we are using image.open and uh, this will be the directory to the image. So we will be using doc2 x for this example and uh, so doc2 refers to this and uh, so Firstly, we would like to split the image by backslash. Splitting the image by backslash, we will have a list. So the list would be in this manner. So another thing to take note is that we will need a double backslash for this to work. Uh, if we are using one backslash, it will not be working. And so that's, that's the reason why we will need to change the path from one backslash to two backslash for everything. So once we split the image by the double backslash, we will need to split the image by full stop. I want to split it up so that it will, I can get the name of the image file. So the name of the image file is doc2. So by doing that, I will be able to get just doc2 and the file extension. And by using minus one, because when we are counting a list, it goes by 0, 1, 2, 3. So minus 1 actually refers to this doc2.jpg. So by doing splitting the image by a full stop, what we'll get is this. And what we want is we want the file name, which is doc2. So lastly, I would use, uh, sorry. So lastly, I will be using um, im.save bracket r and the extension or the location you want to save the converted file converted extension file and then you for me at least for me in this tutorial i want the name or the file name to be the same and that is why i go through the entire process here and i will key in the file type that i want to save too so if you run it this in the for loop what will happen is this in the end, what we will get is um, this. So right now we will have JPG, JPG, and uh, JPG and JPG files. So we can also choose to change it to PNG. Similarly, what will happen is the same. In yeah, we will have two PNG because they are changing the file format for files that has file names that end with .jpg. Yeah. So this is how you can change the file type extension in a file at one go. And this is the end of my tutorial. So if you have any questions, 
um, feel free to leave your questions down in the comment section below. If not, um, thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye.